Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, I'm going to talk about decimal to binary conversion and binary to decimal conversion within the context of IP addressing and subnetting. This is a very important skill in my opinion. I, when I teach this to my college students and of course on YouTube here, I, I really feel that this is something that gets presented at early on when you first use it, uh, learn subnetting because it makes the rest of subnetting much easier and you'll see let's jump right in so in front of you I you see an IP address and a subnet mask remember that an IP address you know every octet is a total of eight bits and those are gonna be a series of ones and zero ones and zeros sometimes all ones and sometimes even all zeros most of the time a combination of both uh, in, in IPv4, remember that every single octet has eight bits in it, so every single IP address has to be a total of 32 bits in size. That's the that's the you know that's just the design. So let's look at this within the context of how um, binary. Remember, everything in computing really is binary, classical computing at least. Is, is ones and zeros. So in networking, it's ones and zeros that are, you know, zooming across the cables and across the skies and the electromagnetic spectrum and uh, through fiber. It's all ones and zeros. And, and that's how it's interpreted by the computer. It's sent and received by the computer as ones and zeros. So binary uses what's called the base two numeral system. And for us, practically, what that means is that every single binary digit, all eight bits, have a decimal representation, right? And using, you know, the base two, two to the seventh, two to the sixth, two to the fifth, two to the fourth, two to the third, two to the second, two to the first, and two, of course, raised to nothing here at the end. And here, here... Um, what you really need to understand and memorize, and what I think is really important to memorize, is this bottom row here. This is, this is really important. If you get nothing else from this video, memorize this bottom row. The 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Maybe pause the video, say it to yourself take a screenshot of it if you're on a phone or you're on a tablet it would be a great thing to screenshot this have it in your photos so if you're just maybe standing in line somewhere or you're you're waiting and you have dead time where you're kind of wasting time study this and memorize this at least the bottom row because the bottom row I promise is going to help you out a lot and let me show you how to apply it so let's consider this subnet mask right so anytime you're looking to do a decimal to binary conversion let's think about that per octet go one octet at a time don't rush don't feel like you have to see this whole binary in your head right away if you're just learning this for the first time just take it one octet at a time so I'm looking at this octet and I'm thinking this is this is how I think right I see 255 and I'm going to look at these. These numbers are going to be playing in my head like a, like a song, like a catchy song. And I'm going to think, how do I get to the number 255? Well, I'll tell you, you actually add all these together. So within the binary, wherever, whatever's being added together is going to be a 1, right? So I, n I happen to know that... This, this in binary would be all 1's because 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 255. So that would look like all 1's in binary. So that would, that would be the same case with this, right? Because this is 255. And that would be the same case with this because this is 255. How about with the fourth octet? What do you think 0 is in binary? in binary if we converted this octet to binary what what are the eight bits are there any ones the answer is no we don't add anything it's just a zero so it, there would actually be eight zeros here does that make sense let me know in the comments so um 
let's do this with something that might be uh, require you to apply this a little bit more. Let's start with this IP address. Let's go here. What it what about this first octet? Let's work it out using Notepad or something. And we don't have to get too complicated with this. Keep in mind if you're if you're doing a um a, a certification exam and you're you're faced with a subnetting problem or even a decimal to binary conversion problem, you know you're probably not going to be able to use a calculator. There hasn't been a certification exam yet where I was able to use a calculator on it, not in IT and cybersecurity, the multiple choice ones at least. Um, I was, you know, they want you to essentially know how to do it on the top of your head or to write it out. Uh, most of them, if you do it in person, they'll give you like dry erase board and a marker. Uh, if you're doing it all online, they give you a virtual whiteboard to sort of, you know, type out. But I haven't seen calculators. Maybe that'll change. But I'm just, the reason I'm showing you this is because to practice this, to get good enough at it, and you take some of these certification exams, you're going you're gonna to want to be able to do this sort of off the top of your head. So when we look at 10 here, let's think about how we get to 10. And this is how we'll figure out how to convert it to binary. And I'll show you. I'm going back to these numbers every single time. And remember, there's 8 bits in every, every octet of an IPv4 address. So I know I have to at least get to 8 bits. Whether the one, they're 1s or 0s is, is really dependent on, on what I'm going to show you here. So the way I look at it is I start with 10, right? So I'm starting with the number 10. That's how I'm typing it out. And I'm going to look at 128. And my, I'm going to ask myself, can 128 go into 10? Or can, can, I, sub, can I do 10 minus 20, 128 and get uh, uh, you know, a positive number, right? The answer is no, which means in binary, that first bit is a 0, right? So the one that has 128 associated with it, that bit is going to be a 0. Does, so then I still ask myself, how about 64? Can I do can I do 10 minus 64? If the answer is no, I put a zero. And, and the answer is no, right? How about 10 minus 32? No. How about 10 minus 16? No. How about 10 minus 8? Yes. So if I do 10 minus 8, and actually let me let me actually move this above. 10 minus 8 is 2, right? So, you know, now I'm working with the number 2. So, can can I can I do 2 minus 4 and get a positive number? No. There's another 0. How about 2 minus 2? The answer to that is yes. So, there that's another 1 there. Right? And then of course you have you're already zeroed out now. So, that last bit is a 0. So then that's our first octet. We just converted our first octet into binary. Let's do the other octets, right? So I'm removing this, and I'm going to look at 3. 3 shouldn't be too hard, right? But let's do it. Let's not skip steps here. Let's just start out. I know you might say, oh, I already know the answer. But start out when you're learning this and practicing it by just going 128, 64. Compare it to each of them. And then eventually you'll be able to look at IP addresses and just see. You'll be like a computer. You'll be able to see the ones and zeros. So you see the three. What about three? Let's let's put it here. Can three? Can we do three minus 128 and get a positive number? No. Guess what that means? Zero. Three minus 64 and get a positive number? No. Three minus 32? No. Three minus 16? No. 3 minus 8, no. 3 minus 4, no. 3 minus 2, yep, that's a 1. What, what answer do we have? 1. So then how about, you know, 1 minus 1? The answer is yes. So that's our second octet. Let's try our third octet, right? So we have 86. Can we do 86 minus 128 and get a positive number? No. So 0. Remember, anytime it's no, it's 0. Anytime it's yes, it's 1. So can we do 
86 minus 64. The answer is yes. You already know that's going to be a 1. What's the answer to that? Sev uh, no, no. What's the answer? Let me know. 22. So we do 22. And that's what we move forward with here. Can we do 22 minus 32? No. Can we do 22 minus 16? Yeah. What's the answer to that? Six, right? So I'm giving you time. Six. So how about six minus eight? No. Six minus four? Yeah. What is that answer? That's two. So then how about two? Two minus two? Yeah. So that's a one. And then of course, since we're zeroed out, you know this last one's a zero. Alright, 10. We know 10 is going to be this one, right? We could just basically go through the same process mentally, or we could just remember we just did this math, so copy and paste over, or think about it. So, you know, you check it. Every time I look at the binary, what I see, let's just pull this up, and uh, I'll do this here. When I look at the binary, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, right? Every single, every single octet is that, going from left to right, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, and so on and so forth. So, you know, when we're doing that um, decimal to binary, we know we already have sort of a you know, a frame of reference to go off of for, for our adding and subtracting, because that's really the hardest math you're doing here is adding and subtracting. And, um, you know, you're, you're thinking about it within that, that context. So you can, you can, you can use subtraction that way from going from, you know, decimal to binary. If you're doing it from binary to decimal, if you like, for example, you get a problem like this, and you're trying to figure out what the the, the IP address actually is so you could you know type it out or whatever you just add you add whatever ones are there so remember these are network bits so whatever is a one you add those and that's what your octet is right so if I'm looking at 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 I'm adding 8 plus 2 right and the same logic goes here right we look here and here and here so I hope that was helpful in terms of decimal to binary and binary to decimal. If you can practice this and get it down, down, and, and really, honestly, if you can get these memorized on the bottom row, subnetting is going to be a whole lot, whole lot easier. And we're going to start doing that in the next video. So I'll see you over there.